Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest shooting guards to ever play in the NBA. How is he going to do it power forward? Lakers coach Byron Scott says that's a possibility next season. Kerry Chow joined by ESPN. Senior NBA writer Brian Windhorst. Brian, we know the league's going small, but Byron Scott says Kobe might see some time at the three and even the four next season. Good idea? Well, let's try to put in perspective first, Kerry. I really don't think this is something that you're going to see on a regular basis. Um, number one, the Lakers have four power forwards on their roster. So I honestly don't think this is something that you're going to see a lot of. But I think when you do see teams go to super small lineups, um, off the top of my head, I can think of the Warriors when they put Harrison Barnes or they put, um, you know, Andre Iguodala at power forward. And you have to deploy your, your, your team with, with a bunch of wing players, what is known in, in a lot of cases as an all-wing lineup. Um, we've seen the Cavs do this. The Spurs can do something like this. And so I guess in those situations, depending on the matchups, you could maybe see Kobe play de facto or quote-unquote power forward. But I don't think it's something that you're going to see on a regular basis. Okay, what about Kobe at the three? Because he's 36 years old, coming off two injury-riddled season. We know his career is winding down. Even the physicality of playing at the three, is that a good idea? Well, yeah, I don't – you see, they don't have as much depth at the three as they do at the four. So, uh, if Byron had come out and started talking about Kobe playing uh, small forward uh, a lot more, especially with D'Angelo Russell – uh, probably playing a lot of, you know, two guard and Lou Williams playing back there. They're one of their other pickups. That would make more sense. I think that on the perimeter, um, and we'll have to see what kind of player D'Angelo Russell is, but on the perimeter, the Lakers are very susceptible defensively because Kobe coming off um, injuries and just his age, he's going to have difficulty dealing with bigger and quicker guys. Lou Williams, quite frankly, is one of the worst perimeter defenders in the league. I'm sorry to say, but it's just true. And Nick Young is not an accomplished defensive player either, which is one of the reasons why I think getting Roy Hibbert, who is one of the best uh, backline defensive players, is actually a really nice move. I think Byron also mentioned he'd like to get another wing player who can play that, both uh, com you know the combo forward, uh, power forward, and small forward. I don't know who that player is. They don't really have many options left, but I think he'd like to get one more um, player like that so that Kobe wouldn't be put in that position as often. Apologize, uh, apologies rather to Swaggy P and poor Lou Williams on for their defensive efforts right there. ESPN senior NBA writer Brian Windhorst, thanks as always for the latest on the Lakers. Check out ESPNLA.com.